Hi folks, this is Lauren Talley with Exit Realty Advantage in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time and go ahead and give you an update on the real estate market here in Pagosa Springs. This is April 22nd, 2020, so this information will be dated as of March as it all comes out on a monthly basis. A lot of people have been asking what's going to happen with the real estate market given the COVID-19 pandemic and the situation that is affecting all of us in some way, shape, or form. I can't predict the future, but what I can do is give you this information. And what the best thing to do for every single person is to take the information and figure out how it's going to affect you and your decisions in the near and the long-term future as far as real estate goes. So let's go ahead and move right over to the graphs. We're going to spend some time on that and then we'll finish up and I'll let you know how you can keep this data or access it anytime you'd like to. Alrighty folks, so the first graph you want to go ahead and take a look at is the median sold price for all properties in the Pagosa Springs area. Uh, and this is a three-year chart. And here if we look most recently at March, we're at $333,000, and this is on a rolling three-month basis. So on a rolling three-month basis, we're at $333,000, being the median sold price here for properties in Pagosa Springs. And you can see that that's an uptrend uh, from January, where we were at $318,250, and it's a little bit of a downtrend if you want to go to the peak, uh, which was in September 2019. If we bring this chart back to the 10-year level, it takes us back a little bit over 10 years here. You can see since about October or really the summer of 2011, we've been in an uptrend since then. And this is definitely a clear channel that's, that's working here uh, all the way up from here to here. And then the top of the channel, obviously, peaking from here and then hitting peaks all along the way. Once again, most recently there in September 2019. So you can definitely see the uptrend that's been occurring over about the last seven years, since about 2012. And I guess the question is now with what we're dealing with in these times is, will we see a continuation in that channel? Or will we see a little bit level off or even go downwards? Let's move over here to the month supply of homes for sale in Pagosa Springs. This is a three-year chart again that we're looking at most recently here for March 2020. The month supply of homes for sale in Pagosa Springs is at 5.2. Uh, you can see it's definitely a downward trend from last summer of 2019 in which July it was at a nine and a half months supply of homes for sale in Pagosa Springs. If we want to go ahead and pull that one back out once again to a longer dated chart, once to 10, 11 years, you can see that we were at a 31 and a half month supply of homes for sale in Pagosa Springs in August of 2010. And then you can see the downward channel opposite of what we were just looking at when it comes to the median price of homes sold. We're now down at five and a half. And you can see it's kind of leveling off there with about five uh, months worth of home supply being the baseline and really we don't want to go any lower than that um, the supply and demand laws and the way all that works really starts getting tricky when you start getting lower so we want to make sure that we keep a healthy supply of homes in the market and the next couple of months bring for April and May and those type of things moving over to sold listings. This is going to be on a three-year chart and you can see obviously we peak out in the summer months here in Pagosa and then hit the bottom there uh, in the winter months. Up, down, up, down. And we're right here in the mid-range right now March of 2020. Actually right about where we should be. So as of right now looking at this, um, we don't really have much reason to panic. It says there were 38 homes sold 
in March of 2020 that's up from the wintertime like it should be and down from the peak at the end of last summer, which was at 57. So we definitely want to make sure that this keeps going up. Once again, knowing what happens here in the next two to three months is going to be able to tell us, you know, the true result of, of everything that we're going through right now. Um, but it's at 38. If we are continuing on the same trend as we saw last year, it's bringing in from last year. Uh, so March 2019, we were at 32. So we're, we're up eight homes uh, on that right there, which is, is nice and healthy. We definitely want to see it keep going up. So if we were on the same trend, uh, you know, April, we should be probably around the same as we are now. So no big scare if we come out a month from now and we're at about the same levels. But then by May, you definitely want to see it going up and then peaking out mid to late summer. As you can see, like it did here in 2019, uh, 2018, and then there in 2017 as well. Last chart, and this is the important one which we'll follow up on after we take a look at it, is the average days on market for homes sold in Pagosa Springs. So right now you're at 163 days on market. And for some people, if you're not really aware of, of the market and how it works here in Pagosa Springs, this might come as a little bit of a shock to you. Um, so yeah, 163 days on market is average right now for Pagosa Springs. You can see um, January of 2017, so a little bit over three years ago, you saw 234 days was the average amount of days on market for homes in Pagosa Springs. And so what you're looking at here is something that never really falls below, let's see here, uh, 80. Um, and that's, you know, really you're looking at your best. Another low here is about 105. And we're kind of right here. Mid-range looks to be about 150. And we're at 163. So, the, folks, this is important. And let's go ahead and take a few minutes to talk about the days on the market and how this affects you, uh, particularly if you are going to be in the market to sell your home uh, anytime in the short to long-term future. So as you can see with the average days on market being north of 160 days, um, it's very important that if you plan on doing uh, real estate transactions, particularly on the sell side, that you enter the market uh, now if you want to get something sold literally in 2020 at all. Um, 160 days is going to put you out about five to six months from now. Uh, and being that it's mid-April right now, that puts you right up into the holidays of uh, you know, Thanksgiving and that time, right when the real estate market tends to die down and everyone spends time with their family and doing those type of things. So, folks, in your past experiences, if you feel like you've left value on the table as far as your agent goes or your representation, uh, thus leaving money on the table, uh, please give me a call. Uh, we can discuss a marketing plan that not only is just throughout the entire span of getting the house sold, but having uh, a plan as far as on a timeline basis goes. This data, guys, I'm going to put on my website, coloradomountaintown.com as well. I'll go ahead and post it on Facebook so you can access it. And then we're going to try to make sure that uh, these videos are posted every month as far as the Pagosa Springs real estate market updates go. If you like what you saw and you want to see more videos or be updated the next time one of these comes out, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, give the video a like if you liked it. Uh, throw a comment down there. Uh, that would be nice. It always helps get the word out. Until next time, folks, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.